How's it going, everyone? We're here to check out the Holiday 2020 update to Rust. And there should be some familiar things coming back if you've ever played for the Holiday. And there should be some new things as well. So one of the first things you'll probably notice is as you're out and about, you may hear the little jingles. When you hear this, whenever it periodically happens, there's going to be presents <clears throat> excuse me, presents that spawn around the world, as well as if you have stockings hung up, they will fill, which we'll get to here shortly. So these presents, you just want to go ahead and swack at them, and they will drop various gift boxes. So you've got this small and medium presents can drop out of them. And basically, those can be stacked up. Oh, look, we found another one over here. So you basically can kind of run around and go find them. And you can combine these presents or open them as is. It takes 10 small presents to make one medium, five mediums to make a large. And in the small presents, you can get a Santa hat or some reindeer antlers. Then you can also get some of the decorations for the Christmas tree, which we'll get to here in a sec. And then you can also get random resources and now scrap as well got added. This is also where you can get the candy cane club I was using a second ago. And an Ioka and handmade shells, snowballs, and chocolate bars. So that's kind of what you're going to get from there. Then in the medium boxes is where you're going to get your first stocking. You can get a Pookie Bear, a sled, which is another one of the new items, the short ice walls, which is another new item, the rest of the tree decorations, some resources, the new snowball gun or blizzard blaster, and it usually comes with four snowballs, it's just they separate. So then you've got a chance of water pipe, a cleaver, and a medical syringe. And then lastly, with the large presents, you can get the super stocking, some crude or high qual, a pistol custom, or a pump, I almost said double barrel. And then there is a flame turret. And then there is this bundle right here where you get one of each of these attachments and a flashlight for some reason <laughs> and then there's also another one where you can get a supply signal so that is a pretty nice little reward there now the stockings you hang up up on the wall and like i said when the xmas refill thing happens and you get the little uh jingle it will fill with random stuff so you can also get the candy cane clubs in here you can get wrapping paper which actually the wrapping paper is also something you can get in the small gift and basically the way this works is you can take an item, so I don't know, we'll take this, and you drag it to the wrapping paper, wrap gift, and it makes a gift. And you can give this to someone, and then when they unwrap it, they get the item inside. So that's just kind of like a little goofy fun thing. Then you can also get the decorations for the trees, uh, some metal frags, and then the super stockings, there's a chance of getting the new snowball blaster and snowballs, some uh, low grade metal and then there's also stone, you can get a water pipe, and then, of course, the other decorations. So that's how that goes there. So speaking of the tree, this is it over here. And it's something you can temporarily craft, so you can just type in tree. And there it is, 100 wood, 20 cloth, no workbench required. Once you place it down, as you get the decorations, you can fill them up in there. So it starts as a bear tree, and then as you add them, they pop up on there. So that's actually a really cool little effect. And there you go, the full tree. So in addition to these items, we have these ice walls, and you can see there's two different versions. We've got the high external one, and that, or the you know large ice wall, and then we got the small ice wall. And the small ones work kind of like, uh, I would say the Halloween fence that pops up for Halloween, same kind of thing. If you manage to get up on top of it, it does spike you in the butt. So, uh, you know, there's that there. It's not the most protection, and uh, it doesn't have the most health, 200. These guys have the same health as a high external, and uh, they pretty much function the same as a high external. Uh, the barbed wire instead is ice spikes, but it works just like the barbed wire. And it is, uh, they're both craftable. You can just type in ice. You'll see the short ice wall is 300 with workbench one, and then two required and 1500 stones, just like a high external. So these will be something that are around for you to decorate up your base for the holiday season now. So that's a very neat little feature there. So next we've got the sled. 
And there's two different versions. However, it looks like the Christmas one is the one that's spawning. So maybe that means uh, sled might be something that stays. Uh, it was craftable at a point. But I don't see it anymore. So I, I'm not sure what's going to happen there. But one way or another, we're going to take the Christmas one for a ride. We're going to head on up. And the way this thing works is you got to be on snow. Which also means if you're somewhere where there isn't snow and you have a snow machine, you could make some snow and get it going. And once you kind of get it going, gravity kind of just does its thing. And uh, let's see, we'll try to line it up here, but I have a feeling we're going to go flying. And uh, you place it on down, and then you just hop on in. You can kind of steer right and left a little bit with A and D, but uh, oh, oh, whoa, oh boy. Oh, we're heading straight for that rock. Oh, no. Oh, we're caught some air. Oh, right into it. Oh, whoa, we bounced off. Oh, we're going backwards. We're going, ooh, okay, we stop. <laughs> look at that. That's a little bit, uh, look at that. Oh, 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 see, we would have went over. Oh, no, it's, it still didn't flip. But one way or another, you can pick up your sled and bring it with you. Each time you pick it up, it does lose a little bit of HP. Of course, you can just repair it with some wood and uh, metal, I think? I want to say metal fragments because of the actual pieces holding it together. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to try to make up a, any kind of reason for it. But uh, yeah, that's how that works. Then we've got the Blizzard Blaster, as it's called. This is a reskin of the grenade launcher that exclusively uses snowballs as ammo. One snowball will fill you up with 50. And it's not just a goofy thing. It's actually something that does damage. It does 25 per hit. So this can actually, you know, knock someone out, take someone out. I mean, hey, you know, it took a bit to hit that, but you can kill someone with this thing. Definitely a fun little addition. Love how it looks like a toy gun. In addition to all of this stuff, we're going to be seeing some holiday skins come back. So we'll just go ahead and pop right into that with the item store. Now, today, the face punch items are going to be in. Tomorrow, the community winners of the skin contest will be added. So today is exclusively the face punch stuff. Tomorrow will also be the rest of the skins that were announced. So I'll be doing the skin preview video tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. That won't be today. So if you want to see the stuff that is added today with the update, here it is. Uh, the snowman is coming back at the same price, $4.99. We've got the Christmas door wreath at $3.99, also returning. Festive garlands, $3.49. Snow machine returning as well, $6.49. The deluxe Christmas lights are back at $8. The Santa beard at $4.99. And this should now also be wearable with sunglasses and so forth, uh, for those wondering. And hats. <laughs> and the new neon signs, which is the five different neon signs for $14.99. So that's what we've got going on there. So let's take a look at each one. We've got Mr. Snowman over here. He's got a uh, pan or the heavy armor helmet going on there. He's got a spear and a pickaxe for an arm and little charcoal pieces and a bullet casing for a nose. It just speaks all sorts of rust. And I mean, that's all he is. He's just a goofy decoration, but it's definitely a fun one. Then we've got the snow machine. And like you would expect, it makes snow. So it makes it kind of snow and then it also fills the ground with snow. So like I said, you could set this up and do some sledding in a non-snowy biome if you like. Or you can just bring holiday cheer to uh, wherever you like. Guy runs off of low grade. It can fit the full 500 and it goes off periodically every so often unless you turn it off. So there's not any other kind of setting like, you know, someone walking past it, etc. So that's how that one is there. Here you can see is the wreath. It's actually visible on both sides of the door when you place it. And then the garlands are around the door. They do light up at night, but they don't provide a light. They just glow, so to say. And it has a window version. Then over here, lastly, we've got the deluxe lights. These are returning from last year. They do require electricity. And that electricity depends pretty much on how long you make the strand. And I believe, let's see, deluxe, whoops. 
right here it's gonna cost you 50 metal frags and five per so there you go and it has several different versions so this is the steady light then it has a slow glow a fade flash and chasing there we go so there you have that definitely a very cool item seen a lot of people do neat stuff with it so it's uh, pretty cool to see it return and it's come in at the same price so it's a good time to pick it up because it's a little bit cheaper than i think i saw it on the market with that we've got the neon signs there's five different ones there's two animated a large and a medium and then there are the standard ones which are just glowing signs and there's the large medium and small so basically the way this works is you make them and you can attach them on up here and the animated ones have multiple frames the large has five and basically you just you know draw on each frame the progression you want and it's got in a little erase button and multiple colors to choose from different sizes and once you've done that then it, you'll see it's here but we'll show you when it turns on here in a second how it actually goes and then on the medium sign here i actually use the new paste function and we've got it where it's blank and then flashes so you, this should be a flashing open sign kind of thing over here it's just you know the basic drawing so you know whatever you want to do you kind of draw it on there again we've got the eraser so you know we can erase it out boom there you have it then over here i actually pasted in the rust logo and then over here i kind of <laughs> drew a little face punch face but the way this works is you can look at a sign as long as you have admin now this might change to where there's a version players can use as of right now it is only an admin command so you're going to open up your admin and you're going to do upload sign and then whatever the sign is named so this one is going to be rust.png and then there you go it's going to say set the sign to the image and it pops up here so actually what we're going to do here is clear it and do that again so same thing boom and you can see now that the sign has popped up right on there so that is something you can do with the neon signs as well and uh, it's definitely really cool this has been a plugin for a while called sign artist there's a couple other versions of it so it's nice to see a vanilla version of this going into the game which hopefully will lead to a version that people can use and not abuse too much and on the subject of abuse the sign settings for streamers work on the new neon signs as well so hopefully you shouldn't be getting any kind of weird surprises with that so let's go ahead and flick the switch and pop them all on and you'll see here what I mean by animated. So you'll see it does it in the different increments. And then you can see, like I said, this one flashes open. So there's, you know, this is basic something. So people could really do some really cool stuff with this, stacking them, lining them up with each other. Uh, they do have a pass through, which is very nice. And uh, yeah, it's just something that'll be definitely very, very cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at these at the night though, because I mean, anything that lights up, that's gonna be the thing all right so there it is that rust logo looks pretty good neon i have to say boom love it isn't that just amazing and then of course we can flick these on check them out i'll do a little more in depth look and you know all that with them in the skin video tomorrow the christmas tree does light up with the little lights that are on it and like i said the garlands have a little bit of a glow emission to them as well so there's that all right, guys, well, that's pretty much going to do it for the update there. Uh, we'll go ahead and show the power requirements because I know everyone always asks that. So for the large animated, it's going to be 15. For the medium, it's 10. And then for the regulars, you've got 8, 6, and 4 for the power requirements there. So that should be the permanent ones. Uh, I know they were fiddling with them before. I think they used to be a bit more. So I believe this is the permanent one that's going out there since they're now purchasable. And uh, lastly, the only other thing that should be changed is airdrops are actually Santa. So Santa's going to be going through with his sleigh of reindeer dropping giant gifts as airdrops. And that's just kind of an added aesthetic thing to go along with the holiday. So keep an eye out for Santa instead of that airplane. And uh, keep an ear out for those jingle bells. That's going to be it. We'll see you for the skins tomorrow. And I hope you all have a wonderful upcoming holiday. Thanks for watching.